Okay, you can already see that I have downloaded a background for my Easter attendance as well as a little clip art bunny that I want to use for my students to click on. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to resize my bunny because there's no way I can fit 20 of these bunnies on a single page. So I'm going to resize it to about there. The next thing I want to do is this is where I want to add in my sound clip. So I have downloaded a sound clip already from soundboard.com and now I want to right click on my bunny go down to sound, select browse choose my sound file select object so that when it's clicked on the object it makes the sound and hit OK now what I want to do is I want to clone my bunny so I'm going to right click on my bunny again, clone, move them over right click and clone, right click and clone. I'm only going to create four today. Of course if you want you can click on your bunny, you can turn them around, adjust them any way you want. There's our sound. The next step I want to do is I want to add names to these. So I'm going to go up and select a font, create a little box here, one name, And then I want to resize my font, so I can put my name up here. I might want to make it a little bit smaller. All of these. The next thing I need to do is I need to group these together. So I'll highlight both of them. And I can right click and go to group. So now they are one object. And they will still play the sound as well if you click on them. Okay. Now the last step we want to do here is we want to add an animation to our bunnies. So we can do this all at once. All we have to do is select all of the bunnies in here, click on our properties tab on the left, then select object animation, and then we have our type here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to fade out. So what will happen now on the bunnies, when students come in they will click on the bunny, it will make the sound and it will fade out. 